What's up, people? It's Keaton Dunn, the seventh, and we're less than a week away from the NALCS Spring Split 2016. Usually, what I would do in this video is I do play of the week, I do match of the week, I do a highlight of the match of the week for next week, and then I like give some awards. But because there hasn't been a game played yet, I can't do any of that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about Cloud9 versus Immortal. Now this week I'll only be talking about the three most interesting matchups that I see in the schedule. And, and as I said before, Cloud9 versus Immortals will be the first matchup that we talk about. Now I think that this matchup is so interesting because we'll finally get to see how good Cloud9 is and how good Immortals is. Now I fully expect Cloud9 to play off the mid lane and get Jensen as much resources as they possibly can because one half of the bot lane is playing for the first time at the position and high plan at support and I fully expect balls to get ran over by Huni but that's not necessarily going to be the case but I'd say Huni is definitely the best top, the better top laner of the two. The game for Cloud9 will really depend on how Jensen does in mid lane versus pole belter and how Rush does in pressuring each lane. Now for Immortals I fully expect them to play off the top lane but luckily for Immortals Rainover doesn't necessarily need to give Huni that much of backup as Huni being the great top laner that he is. Rainover could easily go and punish the rest of the lanes and help out the rest of his team uh, get the gold that they need to help Huni carry the game. Or if they really wanted to, Rainover could just camp top and camp balls and have Huni snowball that much faster. So for Immortals, their one potential comes in how good Huni does or how good the rest of the team does because you already figure that Huni will be able to beat balls in lane and to carry the rest of the game. So this would be a very good interesting matchup to see how good Immortals will be or to see if Cloud9 can match up to the potential strength of the great Immortals roster. So the next game that we'll be talking about is Echo Fox versus Team Impulse. Now the only reason why I figure that this game is going to be interesting is to see how good Echo Fox is because there's not really much information that I have on Team Impulse except for the fact that Gate is pretty much, he, Gate and Mash are the two veterans on the team and Fang is supposed to be a pretty good solo queue player but on the side of Echo Fox it's pretty much, it's also an unknown team, but I figure it's much more interesting unknowns on the side of Echo Fox. For instance, you have KFO, who's supposed to be a very, very highly skilled, highly mechanical prowess top laner from the uh, solo queues of Korea. And if we pay attention to the former Korean solo queue players such as Marin and Huni, he has a lot to live up to. Now, if KFO can be like three fourths of those players, then he'll Echo Fox would be very happy if he can be three fourths of the player of Marin or Huni. Hard the jungle is a challenger and a player I believe who should have a very good idea of how to play in the NA meta. Froggen needs no introduction as he's a very good Dane mid laner. Keith McBree formerly played for Team Liquid, Team Solo Med. I had very good, uh, I want to say, he had an okay time with both of those teams. But I think that he's a very high skilled AD carry. And then you have Big at support who formerly played on Team Dragonite. And Team Dragonite I believe was a very underrated team but they just got hit hard by visa issues, etc, etc. I very much expect Echo Fox to dominate this game playing through the mid lane, playing through Froggen, and, and everybody else being able to, I guess, carry their own weight and beating the other laners for TIP. This would be a very interesting game to see how good Echo Fox plays. Will they play down to the competition and have a close game against Team Impulse or will they dominate the competition and look like a top tier team by just destroying Team Impulse? Now last but definitely not least we have COG versus TSM. Now one thing I would like to say is I didn't know what to think about Stixay but after seeing him and some of FRMU's streams he's a very high mechanically skilled player. I'm pretty sure we've all seen that uh that Ezreal 1v5 where he just dominates the whole other team although it was probably against a bunch of 
platinum players because it was ranked fives and I'm pretty sure their team isn't higher than like maybe diamond but it was still very impressive to be able to 1v5 a 1v5 is a 1v5 so stick say is a very highly mechanically skilled player just like the rest of the CLG matchup but with that being said that TSM roster is just scary and I fully expect with the hatred that Reginald has for CLG and the hatred that TSM has for CLG I fully expect them to flaunt double lift and to try to play out of bot lane and to get double lift as fast as possible and try to carry this game. I also expect TSM to win even though it'll be their first time playing together in the CLG with the exception of Stixe has played together for quite some time, I fully expect TSM to win this game. Just because I don't see how they can deal with the carry threats of Bjergsen, Doublelift, and Hansen. Sven Skaren is no slouch himself. He can very easily get fed depending on his pick and carry a game himself if he has a Lee Sen or uh, a Lee or a Rengar. But don't be surprised if you see Doublelift on a Lucian or a, uh, or a Misfortune or you see Bjergsen on a Syndra or Zed and you see either one of those two just solo carry the game because if one of them gets fed you know that the rest of the team is going to do enough and have enough resources to hold their own themselves but this will be a very interesting game as it will be a rematch from the finals of the summer split 2015. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'd love to hear your opinions on these uh, on each of these matches and I'd love to hear your opinions on some other matches that you guys think will be interesting. Peace, have a great day and remember follow your dreams man.